Drexel Update here on Inside Ambition. I'm Emily McAndrews. Today, I'm talking with Amin Murad, the Vice President of the International Students' Union, and Batel Yamane, the Junior Class Representative for USGA. So why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourselves, um, who you are, what's your major, and what you do with these organizations. Sure. Um, so I'm Amin, I'm a second year mechanical engineer major, um, originally from Lebanon, and I've been working um, with ISU for almost a year and a half, two years now. And um, this initiative, which is the Work Opportunities Initiative, which we'll be talking about uh, today, um, has been worked upon with USGA and Drexel administration uh, for almost a year now. Hi, and I'm Batalia Mana. I'm the junior class representative for USGA. Uh, I've been with USGA for the last uh, two years, I believe. Um, and um, I'm a finance and business analytics major, uh, fourth year, originally from Ethiopia. And on this initiative, again, we've been working with ISU in collaboration uh, to make sure that um, students' voice are heard uh, and um, make sure that administration is working towards bringing solutions to problems that are more specific to international students at Drexel. Great. So, I mean, you've actually been on the show before um, and you've talked a little bit about ISU, but can you briefly just kind of go over again what ISU uh, does here on campus? So, um, ISU, or the International Students' Union, is an organization that has been on campus for quite a while now and works generally to make the lives of international students better on campus. So, you already kind of briefly touched upon what this initiative that your two organizations are going to be working on, but uh, why don't you explain uh, what this initiative is that you're working on? Yeah, of course. So, I'm going to start off with what the big problem is. So, um, majorly international students that are studying in the US on F1 visas are not allowed to work off campus and are not um, allowed to go ahead and apply for um, work study opportunities. So the only way they could uh, generate pocket money is through working on campus or through their co-ops. Um, and this problem has been seen at Drexel that there aren't enough work opportunities, work on campus work opportunities for students in general and not only international students. Um, or the work opportunities present aren't being uh, marketed well. And uh, a lot of international students have been suffering and this is why retention numbers at Drexel aren't doing that great. Um, this is actually one of the reasons, not the only reason, of course. And this is why we kind of uh, started this initiative and have been working ever since with USGA and Drexel administration to uh, kind of make that uh, better to solve this problem. So how does Drexel currently offer jobs to students in general? Um, yeah, I can take a dab at that. Um, so mostly Drexel's on, uh, campus opportunities comes through work study funds, um, which international students do not have access to as work study funds are uh, federal government uh, available funds. So international students don't have access to that. And there are some um, jobs that Drexel itself offers um, where you can work uh, either um, maybe in the library or on the like desk assistants. And those jobs are where international students can apply to. However, um, those jobs are very hard to find or um, if, even if they are, like they you have to like personally go from like office to office or from person to person to be uh, able to know if those jobs are even available. So that's one thing our initiative starts trying to tackle, which is uh, one, marketing those jobs that are available to students better so that students uh, feel find it easier to navigate that system and to also increase opportunities available uh, and bring more uh, spaces to open for international students. So have you found that other colleges and universities um, have done a better job in uh, providing jobs for international students? Um, yes, I'll, I'll touch bases on this point. So um, to be able to present this problem, this initiative to administration, we had to do our research. And um, throughout our research, we went, um, first of all, we started off with a survey um, asking Drexel students about um, their experience on that matter. 
Um, and then we researched other universities, what they do, um, how did they tackle this problem? Do they have this problem in the first place? And um, the major trend we saw was that most universities uh, have their jobs open both for work study and for international students. So the problem that is major at Drexel isn't as big in other universities because they have either a centralized website or portal that allows uh, international students and students in general to find the jobs uh, to apply to, or they have all jobs open for everyone and not only for work study students. So I think that that brings up a great point um, about international students. Um, you know, international students make up a large part of the student population and I think that these jobs should definitely become more accessible. Um, so what do you plan on doing or what exactly are you bringing forward in this initiative to uh, the Drexel administration? Yes, yeah, so we are planning to take a step-by-step -step approach, especially as fall campus um, was, we're gonna be more in-person and people are returning, uh, especially international students more than ever are gonna need this on-campus job um, to you know, have some kind of pocket money to like sustain themselves uh, or to pay some of their bills that they have. Um, so one of the initiatives that we're like pushing really hard against is to have that centralized website we have spoken about. Um, that would take off some burden in the short term uh, to you know bring more access to students. Students can easily navigate the jobs that are available and then that matches their skills and interests apply for those. Um, and in the long run, we're also pushing for a uh, different types of sort, um, initiatives such as, you know, more uh, job availability, um, summer job availability and a um, bunch other. I mean, if you want to jump in here. Yeah, of course. Um, so we definitely should mention that after presenting to Drexel administration, um, they have taken a step forward and there is a team currently in, uh, working um, that is kind of mostly formed by um, administrators and students and they have started working on a centralized website which we're hoping will um, go online um, in the fall with the return of all students and um, so this is kind of as Betty said our um, first step towards solving this issue but of course um, there are a lot of steps we could take going on the long run, um, probably making an office just for student employment and not aired under HR or SCDC or other offices, just have its own office. So there are different roads uh, administration could take. And, um, but most importantly, um, on the short run, hoping in the fall, uh, we, we would have set the centralized website with all the job opportunities that international students and domestic students are able to apply to. Yeah, I think that this is definitely a great step forward. Um, there's certainly a lot of room to grow and a lot of room to improve. So hopefully we'll start to see a lot of those changes be implemented as well. Um, so uh, coming up, uh, you'll be discussing this at the USGA Town Hall. Um, so do you want to talk a little bit about uh, what you'll be discussing at this? Um, yes, of course. Uh, so this town hall is mainly uh, a way to continue um, stressing the importance of uh, this issue. Um, the administration has heard our voice. They agree there is a problem and they are working with us to solve this problem. But not all faculty, not all students, not everyone know this problem is there. And this is why um, USGA, ISU has initiated this town hall. Um, it's kind of the, the main point of this town hall is to have students um, give out their stories, share their experiences all throughout these years at Drexel. And just to um, show the faculty, show the administration that still hasn't heard of this problem, that um, everyone can help. There is a solution. Everyone should give in. Everyone should open opportunities for students. Everyone should post on this website that is to be um, uh, posted online in a couple of months. So the more people hear about this, the bigger the collaboration will be, the better, the more effective the solution will be. Betty, do you want to add anything on that? Um, yeah, so basically, um, 
this sound how like I mean said this to let people share their experiences and talk about their problems. Um, we have tried to reach out to a couple of students towards the, our survey, but we're hoping that this town hall gives them more access and more freedom to share their stories and, you know, bring more, um, bring even problems that we may not have been aware of to the surface. Um, definitely Drexel's administration is more than willing to work with us, but like as Amin mentioned, not everybody knew this problem existed because it's very specific to international students. So unless, you know, people had access to international students and have seen them struggle first time, they don't really know this happens. So it's also a way to promote our initiative uh, and attract, um, you know, more people towards, uh, to increase the usage to the website as it opens up in the future. So that's what we're hoping to have uh, through this town hall. That's great. So for any students who are looking for more information about ISU, USGA, um, any of the initiatives or things that you're working on, where can they do that? For ISU, I could talk for you, ISU. Um, you could reach out to us at isu at drexel.edu. Um, you can reach out personally to me, am4672 at drexel.edu. Um, yeah, we respond um, quite fast. Um, and any questions you have, um, anything you want to share with us, any problems you think you would want to see ISU tackle, um, please feel free to reach out to us and we would be more than happy to help. Um, and as for USJ, we're always looking to work with students and hear their concerns. So um, you can contact us uh, by using our social media, such as our Instagram page. I feel like that's the easiest to access for everybody um, and we respond to students' concerns and emails. Uh, you can contact us through our website Please do see the works we've been working on um, on our website as well, because uh, USJ have been working on really interesting initiatives that, that a lot of people are not aware of. Um, and also our email. Uh, and if you personally are interested in working on this initiative with us, you can also reach out to me via my email, uh, bfy23 at Grexel, or also my Instagram account, uh, Betty Pukru. Feel free and we'll always happy to work. Uh, our goal is to, you know, make this change. Um, I personally have been part of, I have gone through this process and it was very difficult to find an online job. And that's what, you know, motivated me and I mean, and other people working here to kind of, you know, break that pattern. So if you are willing to work and be part of the change, we'll be more than happy to work with everybody. Uh, one thing I really want to stress about uh, this initiative and this town hall is that even though this problem mainly uh, is portraying international students, domestic students from the U.S. also have a huge role to play in helping us push through this initiative. So uh, in this town hall, we are inviting everybody at Drexel to come and speak on uh, behalf of this experience uh, that, you know, we all share in common in some way, especially if you have international students, friends, and if you've seen them, you know, going through this part, your testimony can also help our initiative to go forward. So if you're domestic students, please come. This is an open event for everybody. Well, thank you both for being on the show today. It was really a pleasure. Thanks, Emily. And that's it for Drexel Update. Make sure that you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. See you next time.